YouTube. This is Praxis Prepper Mini. I was just eating some shrimp the other day from this package. Uh, this is farm-raised shrimp from Indonesia. The, this is the size of it, 16 to 20 of them per pound. Um, whenever I eat anything that could potentially come from the ocean, I'm, ever since Fukushima, I've been scanning it for radiation. Now, again, these are farm-raised, and some farm-raised setups are uh, sort of detached from the ocean. Some get uh, ocean water pumped into themselves. I don't know the exact uh, living situation of the, the shrimp that are now dead in this bag, um, but farm-raised Indonesia could potentially have had uh, Pacific seawater coming in. So I always scan it for radiation. Uh, I use a radiation alert detector. Uh, I've been using this since uh, the whole Fuku Fukushima incident and before. I've said in previous videos that after Fukushima I saw a definite rise in radiation and then a, a gradual taping off, tapering off. Uh, and I have good news. We're, uh, at least according to these dead shrimp, we are still in that tapered off phase. Uh, I took uh, several readings. The background radiation that I was picking up over my 20 minute time count was 840 clicks per 20 minute period. So that's just background radiation, no, no, uh, no sample in the tray there. Uh, once I put the sample in, which is a little piece of uh, shrimp about the size of my pinky finger, dried of course, because alpha particles can't go through the, the moisture, so you wanna dry your samples out first. Uh, I did several uh, um, readings of them, and they were all coming out right around that 820, 840 range. So at least according to the dead shrimp that are in this bag, which were farm-raised in Indonesia, life's good, yo. I mean, there might be other pollutants in there, PCBs and shit, but they're not radioactive. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.